Hello, my name is John Marfa. Today we'll be showing you the Skyvin processes for both 4SP and 4SH hydraulic hoses. The general assembly process of these hoses are the same as making a normal one or two wire hose. However, both of these hoses need to have the external rubber taking off of the hose where the ferrule interlocks with the coupling and the external braid. We will start with a 4SP hose. Using the swage chart provided by the hose manufacturer, determine the skive length required. When you have this, you will need to select the correct mandrel and place this into the skiver, setting the correct length using a steel rule. You will now need to determine the height of the blade. Setting this too low will splay the wire reinforcement. If this happens, the hose is not fit for purpose. If you leave too much rubber on, this will also affect the performance of the hose assembly. You need to skive enough rubber so that the metal braid is visible. Once you have completed the skiving process, check the finish length to ensure that the skive part of the hose will not protrude from the end of the ferrule. As long as this is okay, then you can proceed to the swaging. 